Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today we're going to go over uh, one of the more important steps in uh, like audio and video production is making sure your computer is up to specs. Now, this involves, you know, the CPU. This involves a lot of different components of a computer, but it also does involve the RAM. And we're going to go into this 13-inch MacBook Pro and we're going to trade out the RAM for this 8 gigabyte kit that I have here. Um, there's currently four gigabytes in this MacBook Pro, and we're gonna trade it out with these babies right here. Uh, these are actually just standard uh, PNY run-of-the-mill eight gigabyte kit, you know, two four gig sticks in here. And this is actually the max that this MacBook Pro will take. So we're going to go max out the RAM on it, and uh, hopefully we'll get some better speed and some better results out of this computer here. Now, some of you may wonder, is this going to void the warranty? of my MacBook Pro or you know whatever you may be changing out the memory in any of your favorite Apple products the answer to that is uh, simply no it won't void your warranty unless you mess it up or the memory you buy messes up your computer now Apple encourages you to change out the hard drive or the memory they actually provide documentation on how to do this within the MacBook user manual that you can actually find online or in the link below the video um, so go check it out so what we're gonna do here first is I have the screwdriver kit and I picked it up from Bryce Electronics actually along with this memory here too uh, Bryce Electronics will price match any online retailer so I would suggest to go buy some RAM from them um, so we're going to take out all the screws here and uh, just make sure you have a little, like, a little tray or something to put the screws in. That'll help you out a lot. And then we're going to take the old RAM out and put the new RAM in. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that there's uh, 10 screws in the back of your MacBook here. And uh, let me just show you guys real quick. Put this stuff out of the way. See we have 10 screws all the way around the edge of the MacBook. And so what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and unscrew all those screws, obviously. But you got to make note of the sizes of the screws and where they go because the three in the back right here are actually long screws. So you want to make sure that you just remember where the three long screws came from or you're going to end up mixing things up and possibly breaking something. Now, I recommend to back up all of your information just in case anything happens. Uh, you never know what could happen when you're doing this and I can't be responsible for any, you know, anything that happens to you guys if you guys are doing this, you know, do it at your own risk obviously, but there is documentation in the Apple manual to show you how to do this. So here we go. I'm going to go get the screwdriver here and uh, in here there's several different bits. You just want to find a bit that's going to fit nice and snug inside of the screws you don't want it to be wobbling around or too big you want to get kind of like a perfect fit in there so let me see alright so this one right here seems like it's gonna work so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna put it in here right there like that bam done and we're just gonna go around and unscrew all these screws so I'm just gonna do this and I'll fast forward it for you guys so you guys don't have to watch this long process here All right, so we have all our screws out now. Uh, so now what we're going to do here is uh, you can just kind of take a fingernail or something and just lift underneath the edge right there. Um, let me just show you guys real quick. I'll zoom in a little bit on this. Let me see here. All right, so you see you can just stick your fingernail in here and just lift up on the edge, and the whole, literally the whole back of it will just come off. So that's what we're going to do here is just lift up the edge and take it off. So let's get that off here and bam. So that's what the back looks like. Uh, so we're just going to place that to the side somewhere safe. And now this is uh, very important here. When you remove the bottom case, you're going to expose a lot of sensitive like internal components, which can definitely be screwed up by static electricity. Don't touch anything that you don't need to touch. Um, but basically the most important thing is before touching like the memory or the hard drive or something just go ahead and touch uh, like a metal part uh, a metal component within the computer metal part of the computer to discharge any static electricity from your body touching the metal here just like on the 
on the drive over here or whatever will actually discharge anything that you have going on inside of your body there. So this actually looks pretty cool in here. I want to get you guys a close up of all this stuff. And we have our RAM right there. So you can see the RAM. So now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to take these levers here on the side of the memory module and you just basically want to push them outward and the memory will just pop right up. So see how we did that and it just pops right up from there. Uh, take it out at the angle that it pops up from. So I'm just going to pull it out slowly and there we go. There's our memory stick. We got it out. Everything is safe. Nothing's broken. So we're just going to place that aside and let's see here and zoom out a little bit for you guys. All right. So we're going to do the same thing to let the other one out. We're just going to push on those levers one more time and it's going to pop up like that. And just make sure that you have it out all the way on top of all those levers or else you're going to mess something up and be careful to not touch anything. I mean, if you don't have to, if you don't have to touch something, don't touch it. So let me get this out here real quick. So there we go. Uh, the best thing to do here is to just, I mean, I know it's kind of hard, but try to hold those l levers out while you pull the second one out here. It'll make it a lot easier for you. So that's what your RAM looks like inside of your MacBook as it comes from Apple. That's exactly how it looks. Just a little two gigabyte stick of RAM here, nothing special. And uh, so as you can see here, removing label may void warranty. So do not remove that label. <laughs> uh, sounds kind of silly, but so we'll put that aside here. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up our new RAM package here. I already got it started a little bit. I'm um, just going to try to slide my nail around this. There we go. Now let's go in here and we have our RAM. All right. So as you can see here on the side, you have your short end and your long end. You want to make sure you line those up or you're going to screw something up. So just make sure that you're, you're putting it in right. It's like a puzzle. It won't fit the other way. So if it doesn't fit in there, you know how you're trying to get it in then you know you're doing it the wrong way. But I would suggest to try to make sure that, just make sure that you're getting it in right so that you're not putting it in there and it doesn't fit because then you might break something. So we're just going to put it in at the same angle that we took it out, just like that. And then we're just going to pop it down, just like that. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing with the second one. Just put it in there like this, nice and easy, at an angle, get it locked in there, and just push it down. There we go. We're all good to go. Um, now, some of you may have different opinions. Um, personally, me, before I screw anything back together, I like to uh, just, you know, I'll put the back on and make sure that it boots up and it recognizes everything. Because if it doesn't boot up, then we're going to have to take it out and we're going to have to figure out what's going on. And I don't want to have to unscrew 10 screws after that. So, uh, what you can do actually is just like put in, you know, a couple of the screws just to hold the back on so when you turn it around everything doesn't fall out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a couple screws in here. One on this side and one on this side. And make sure you put these screws in straight or you'll strip them. They're very lightweight and they will strip easily. Alright so let's go ahead and flip this bad boy over turn it on and see if she starts up. Let me move the camera angle up here, get it better positioned with the computer, and there we go, power. All right, so far so good. Sometimes it might take a little bit longer than normal to boot up, just a little bit because it's recognizing the new hardware. Um, sometimes it won't though, so it's hit or miss on that, um, but just let it do its thing. Don't get impatient. You don't want to screw anything up. So just chill and let it do its thing. All right, so there we go. We're greeted with the screen here, the login screen. And I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. And it's going to pull up for me. So, so far, 
Uh, it looks like everything's working. If it wasn't, we wouldn't have the desktop pulling up here or the sidebar. And everything seems to be run pretty smooth. Let's go check the specs here. All right, so as you can see here, everything is working just fine. We're running 8 gigabytes of RAM, 1067 megahertz, DDR3, and everything is tip-top shape. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Please go check out MacMixing.com. Uh, there's tons of other tutorials and stuff, everything Apple-related up there. Find us on Twitter on the link on the screen. Meep. And Facebook with this link. Meep. You know, thanks again, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and have a great day.